are here at the 55th Skills USA, Skills USA, Skills USA competition in Louisville, Kentucky for the national competition here in the Editor Manufacturing Contest space. We focus on manufacturing at SME, and so we have developed the Additive Manufacturing Contest with our partner Stratasys so that uh, students in both high school and college can compete with the latest technologies and the latest manufacturing developments. Programs like this allow us to give students exposure to career and technical workforce development opportunities. Uh, additive manufacturing, while it's been around for 30 years, the demand for it has grown quite a bit and the need for skilled workers in additive, in design for additive, in technician and operators is, is immense. So we get it all the time from uh, significant companies. We need the next generation of employees. This is a precursor to it. They are just so excited to be here to learn about manufacturing, to find out exactly what kind of opportunities there are out there. It, they're just incredible. It's run like a workplace. I mean, everything is timed. Everything is a set of procedures and policies, very similar to what you would do in a workplace. So it's like a simulated workplace environment where it teaches them, this is what's expected of you, and this is what you need to do, and these are what your behaviors need to model after. We worked with Stratasys to come up with a potential a typical industrial problem and allow the students to come up with creative, ingenious solutions to solve that problem. Students are given uh, multiple design challenges and they work through challenges like you'd have in the real workplace. It includes an engineering notebook that they're going home and doing at night and a presentation that they prepare at night. There's, there's really three challenges and a test. The first day uh, we were presented with the problem. The problem given to us is a automobile company wants to be able to pick up an emblem off a uh, robot arm. We're kind of thrown into a factory setting. We have a robotic arm that we need to make a tool for. Put it onto the car and have it oriented correctly at the same time, have it placed on the car correctly, and also have it be able to get off the track. We had to design that simple part and, you know, seemed pretty simple, but it wasn't. It wasn't, you know, as simple as you think. Everybody came up with so many different designs. It's amazing. We had first work day, so we came up with a first solution. We collaborate together to come up with the designs, and I write it down in the notebook, and she inputs it into the computer. Roughly eight hours here every day, um, if not nine, and then we have three to four hours once we get back to the hotel um, to do more work on this. They iterate a design, so change or modify their design, print again, and hopefully get closer to success. Yesterday we got our first solution back off of printers, and then yesterday we tested it, made improvements on how today we're presenting it and giving our final product, so it's a fast turnaround. So it's that actual doing engineering work, engineering and design. And it's fun, and it's, you know, it's a really challenging and competitive, and it's just, it's just really great. I'm glad that I chose an engineering field, and I'm glad that I chose additive manufacturing. Even though it's stressful sometimes, I'm just, I'm glad. This is, this is where we're both really good at, is our strengths. We feel good doing it. So we are at the start of judging day, day three. Uh, the competitors are all getting ready, testing their parts, and uh, we get to evaluate their designs and see where they stand in the ranking. This was not by any means an easy challenge, but it's great to see how the students have t tackled every little aspect of it. We have some bright minds coming up with some really great solutions. Yeah, so this was pretty much the last yeah. part of the competition. And tomorrow we got a free day. It'll feel good. <laughs> This competition has pretty much gotten us so close to the industry. Sure. So it's really gotten me into additive manufacturing. And well, um, we got to present and test out our design again and show the judges. And hopefully tomorrow we're on stage getting gold. <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> could go better, definitely could go worse though. I mean, I'm happy with it, I'm having fun. Even if you don't think you'll do well, it is worth the experience. We're still going to be friends, that's for sure. <laughs> it's a great feeling. What an amazing experience. Um, I truly appreciate when big companies like this are willing to step up and allow us to compete in a world, real world situation. I think in future years we're going to keep working together on adding the manufacturing. Yeah, so we'd absolutely recommend this to just about anybody. It's a lot of fun and we've learned a lot. 
for the ones that competed today, uh, I want to say just great job. At the end of the day, I, I hope that all of the people who participate in the additive manufacturing contest leave encouraged with everything that they've been learning and everything that they've done to prepare for this contest, that when they walk away, they feel like the interactions that they had with the people who are really part of this industry were, were very encouraging for them. We're very excited to continue working with the next generation. It's amazing to watch these students. It, it makes me feel good to help to inspire and prepare them. All of that is super valuable in these formative years as you're you know, deciding your career path, as you're looking at the opportunities that are available to you. SkillsUSA is all about opportunity and we're just so happy that we can be a part of that. Uh, for the students that might be interested in it, come on, give it a, give it a shot. It's, it's not that hard um, and you may find something that you love to do and they say that if you, know, you love what you do, you never work a day in your life.